the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 has received a two firmware update for me in less than two weeks. And I, it delayed my general review because I wanted to review everything. From review, I now jumped in to started testing out some of the features because they are bringing in features and features like for everything. There is two updates already for this one. There is an update for the battery pack and above all <laughs> there's also an update for the dji mic 2 and this is what i'm going to talk about what i'm going to share with you in this video is um how to update this one and it's very important the t transmitter of this is in uh, version 3 0 0.3 point something and at the end it will be at version 0 0.4 point something so if you're ready let's go in and let me tell you Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. Let's jump right in. If you're new to the channel, why not click on that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell icon to get more videos like this. This is the DJI Mic 2 and that colorless case, it makes it stand out from the original Mic 1. So we're going to update the firmware. As I already said, the firmware is in 0 0.3 uh, dot something and then we're going to move it to 0 0.4. I'm going to use that out of the box USB-C to USB-C power delivery cable to do that board. Um, before then, we have to go to the DJI website. You can go to DJI.com and start you know, browsing around to find what you're looking for or you can just go in. I'll put the link in the description uh, dji.com for slash product uh, osmo dash pocket 3 and that's where you see all the features they have a lot of apps system support for this but what we're looking out for is the firmware dot uh, bin file the firmware is written for osmo pocket 3 but this is actually for the dji mic 2 you'll see that when we start downloading the file uh, also, there is also a PDF a manual on how to install uh, this firmware. Of course, <laughs> I'm going to guide you through that. Uh, so we click on the download and then we download that. You see DJI's wireless mic 2 transmitter 0.4.02.01 updates. The PDF uh, manual is in Chinese and <laughs> in English. So it's about make sure the device is on, then copy the beam file to the root. Let's just go do that and leave the long story written in the manual. So we're going to close down all this stuff here and then we're going to open up our downloaded uh, DJI.bin mic. We're going to make sure that make sure that the DJI mic 2 is on. Make sure it is on. And then here I'm going to use the cable that came with this device and then connect it. Make sure that it's on. Connect the USB-C and then I'm also going to connect the USB-C at uh, the other end to my computer and it pops up immediately. Now I'm going to drop copy the file and drop it in the root. Remember the root of the DJI mic storage and once you do that you're going to eject it you know safely from the system and once you have ejected it safely from the system then you're going to now remove it from the computer and immediately you're removing it from the computer you can see that red blinking light uh, will start flashing and the update is going on if it is connected while it's on it will disconnect itself from the camera and then after doing this update it will automatically reboot so this thing is just um update by itself it does the whole thing by itself all you need to do is to download the firmware and copy it inside uh the dji root folder and disconnect it uh, <laughs> eject it safely and it does the magic now it has finished and then it has rebooted and it's trying to connect back uh, uh, to the camera and as you can see now it's connected to the camera let me show you that on the camera the dji <laughs> mic is connected and it did that while i was recording so that's the beauty about that. So I'm going to stop the recording right now and then go to the setting. Let's check out our firmware, uh, wireless mic, and then let's check out our firmware. And now we are in 0 0.4.02.01.13. Wow, I can't remember the last time I bought a device with accessories that received this number of updates in two weeks. And it's not just firmware updates, it is a lot of feature-packed uh, features. I tested some of the features in, the, in last week. I did a video about that, the low light, uh, 4K, 30 FPS, a whole lot of stuff coming. Now, they have also added something to this one, which means if it's not being used, it will turn off automatically and improve some of the quality of the sound and other stuff. And it is impressive. So go check it out if you've not done the updates it's not easy you can 
easily update your Pocket 2 microphone without any problem. It's as simple as that. So make sure you like, follow, share, subscribe, and until I see you in the next one, it is peace. Subscribe. I'll see you.